Let's call the pointlessly tall Richard Osman, shall we? Um, he, of course, came on the show um, the last time we had a celebrity he did. run. Yeah. I believe he won £32,000. Shall yeah. I tell him that you're nowhere near there? Yeah, go on, tell <clears> him <throat> that, tell him that. Hello? Hi, Richard. Oh, no, hello. Hi, Jack, it's, <laughs> it's Jeremy. Oh, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is Zander yeah. isn't doing as well as you did. Oh, that is such a huge relief. Thank you. Yeah, thank I you, knew Zander. you'd be relieved by that. The bad news is he's chewing through his lifelines here on a, okay. on a question that he needs your help with, obviously. Um, gotcha. Do you know what to do, Zander? You've, do. Got, you've got 30 seconds and your time starts now. Which of these famous fictional spaceships features in a film by Stanley Kubrick? Nostromo, Spacecraft Discovery One, Imperial Star Destroyer, or The Milano? Mm, I mean, yeah, I'm not great on that. I would have thought Nostromo, but, um, you know, that's Joseph Conrad. Maybe that's Apocalypse Now. I don't know. I haven't. I assume it's 2001 A Space Oddity, but I don't know the name of the spaceship in it. Sorry. Don't you worry. Lovely to hear you. Oh, <laughs> oh this is. Um... <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, I had dreams of showering cash down on my on my charity and uh you and still being, could i still could i mean you still have a lifeline left i still do you could take a punt at this you could get it right you there's you many many options uh, jeremy can you help me here okay right here's what i think I went three times to the Kubrick exhibition at the Design Centre in Kensington when it was on. 2001 is by far and away my favourite book and I've seen the film a thousand times. You've wasted two lifelines ringing numpties, frankly. Oh, for God's sake. As I'm sitting here thinking... Yes. The awful thing is, as we've been sitting here, I'm thinking... I mean, I really have read that book so many times. I know that... You know why the computer's called HAL? Yes, IBM. The one letter along yes. from IBM, and there's Dave Bowman is the captain, and I know oh, Jeremy, I know I'm all so the names sorry. of the moons of Jupiter because of Io yes. is where they headed. I know <clears throat> everything about that story. I, I adore Kubrick. Oh, everything he's ever done. But I'm good if I can remember what the name of the spaceship is. <laughs> <laughs> I know it isn't Imperial Star Destroyer. I know it isn't the Milano. What's been throwing me is when your man said Nostromo, I suddenly thought, God, is it Nostromo? But then I think Nostromo is the name of this spaceship in Alien or Aliens. And I'm, because it's spacecraft, yes. and because 2001, it was called Discovery. When it came up, I knew it was called Discovery One. And because it's spacecraft, and that was something that they used in the Gemini and Mercury programs, they referred to them as spacecraft back then. Nowadays, we call them spaceships. Yeah. So I'm pretty confident it's B, spacecraft discovery one. And that is my final answer. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to go with that. Spacecraft discovery one, my final answer. Computer, can we reveal the correct answer? Absolute pleasure. Abject apologies for. I should have come to you first. Why, why I'm did absolute, I think? I'm a 2001 nut. Oh, I'm so My genius. youngest daughter and I. She, she agrees. She also adores 2001. So we talk about very little else. Oh. Uh, yeah, Nostromo was yeah. right. It was the spaceship in Alien. Destroyer is Star Wars. Milano. Wow, Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't know that. But um, there we are.